other than bunkers, cars and player movements, there are quite a few additions and adjustments coming to patch 119. And here, I'll talk about some of the ones you might not know about so you can become the cool friend in your social group. If you like the video, please leave a like or a subscribe, it really helps me out. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Almost didn't see you there in those actual giant blue pants. Before we get into the ones you don't know, I just want to touch on something you do know, but it's a question I get asked multiple times a day, so I'll answer it here quickly. Yes, the new vehicle engine is on console too. I'm happy to report, although not perfect, the new vehicle system is a huge improvement from handling to stability. In addition to this, and similar to how the Ada already was, the Olga, Sarka and Gunter now have a spare wheel slot, which which is good because tyres in DayZ are made out of paper mache and wishes. And of course the new Humvee joins us too, which doesn't require a radiator to start, but does substitute a spark plug for a glow plug. Guns, although spawning in damaged, do jam 50% less. However, you might not know that even their attachments can spawn in damaged too, so it's entirely possible to find a gun with a badly damaged scope, somewhat significantly hindering your sights. Guns are also more difficult to find now, and although I don't think it's a large adjustment, I really love that the devs are subtly shifting the balance towards the survival side of DayZ. You can now repair sea chests and crates using planks, and despite there now being a diesel car in the game, a jerry can will cater to both diesels and petrols without the need for separate cans. It's also now possible to create an improvised eye patch from some rags. I don't know what this is for exactly, but it is a huge win for pirates and anyone who wants to cosplay as a cyclops. To the answer of apparent requests, they've added a new bleed effect to the screen when you're cut so you can now play without the hood more comfortably. Although I always personally relied on a little blip at the bottom right. However, if you are a traditionalist, you can go to the options and switch it off, returning to the old method. You can no longer skin fish, hens and hares using the bayonet, but it's still a very underrated melee weapon. The bunker will need a punch card to access it. There are somewhat secret areas in the bunkers, but it will require at least two of you to access. The bunker is also very dark, so a light is recommended when exploring. But if you're looking to get the absolute most out of the new patch, I recommend clicking here for even more DayZ content. And as always, until next time.